Good afternoon, Janet. Good afternoon, ma'am. Can you tell me about yourself? Uh, good afternoon, ma'am. I'm Janet Abendante, 37 years old, married to Jericho Abendante. I have two kids. My eldest daughter is Trixie May Abendante, and my youngest son is Marjan Eric Abendante. Okay, I have a few questions for you to answer, so let's start. Why do you want to work yes. as a maid? I want to earn money for my family. Oh. I want to earn um, my money. To my okay, family. why you choose Malaysia when it's a lot of other country? It's nice. Okay, country, how ma. are you qualified for this job? Hardworking, trustworthy. And okay, honest. may I know what is your educational level? And finish okay, high what graduate. is your recent experience? As a what? In Kuwait. Okay. Have you worked healthcare. abroad before? Can you please tell me what yes, place in how many years you worked for? Okay. Do you have experience of taking care of baby? Okay. How yes, about elderly people? My own baby. Are you willing to take care of an elderly no, people? Do you have any other special yes, skills? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Are you willing to learn new skills? Nothing here. Are you willing to work with a family where the mother-in-law yes, or any relatives stay together? Currently, are you still working now? Yes, ma'am. Do you know how to cook? In my house. What sort of food can you cook? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Are you Filipino aware that you will food. have to do washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking? From all the house chores, which do you like most? Yes, ma'am. Okay. If ever you were selected to work in Malaysia, cooking. who will take care of your kids? Okay. You are not allowed to use handphone during My working mother. hours. You are only allowed to use handphone after you finish all the works yes, and going to bed. You are strictly needed to surrender the handphone to your employer in the morning yes, and your employer will return back to you once you're going to bed. If ever you your employer find out that you're abusing of using your handphone yes, it has affected your work performance your employer will confiscate your handphone and you are not allowed to hold it anymore instead your employer will return back to will allow you to call your family three times in a month you're only allowed to bring normal phone and you are not allowed to bring smartphone are you agreed for the terms and conditions are you agree to the rules and regulation for the handphone? Yes, How many years is the contract as you agreed in understand? Yes, ma'am. Okay, can you describe for me your ethics? Two years contract, ma'am. Okay. How can you assure to us that you will work hard in Malaysia? Honest and trustworthy. Okay, can you promise not to use the telephone without the permission of your employer? I finished two years contract now. Can you promise not to put on makeup but to dress properly while work? Can you yes, promise not to invite friends and relatives without the consent of your employer? Yes, Can you promise not to ask for advance salary from your employer under any circumstances? Yes, ma'am. Do you really understand of the rules and regulations of the agency? Do you pay any yes, placement fee for you to come to Malaysia to work as a maid? Do yes, you have any history of sickness, example, breast cancer or any other illness? No, ma'am. Do you suffer from any skin diseases, allergy or physical defect? Have you suffered no, from any serious illness? Have you undergone any operation? No, ma'am. 
Are you medically fit? No, ma'am. Are you on any medication? Are you allergic no, with any food? Are yes, you prepared to work for the employer of any race? No, ma'am. Are you prepared to eat the type of food taken no, by your employer? Are you afraid of being left alone in yes, the house? Are you afraid of dogs or other pets? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise to work according to the instruction from your employer? No, ma'am. Do you have any immediate family working in Malaysia? No, ma'am. Okay, Janet, we have finished our question section. Let's go to case yes, study. I have a case study for you and I want you to answer me truthfully. No, okay? Okay, number one. Upon arrival in Malaysia within six months, if ever any of your family members passed away, yes, what will you do? Okay, ma will you continue to work till finish your contract or you will go back? Okay, number two. Tell us about yourself and why do you want to work in Malaysia as a domestic helper? I finished two years my contract, ma'am. Okay, Janet, what do you want to tell the employer who watching your video right now? I want to help my family to earn money for education of my baby. Okay, thank you very much, okay, Janet. We will update to your agency if there is any selection made by the employer. We have a baby. I care same my own. 